Hi viewers and students. Let's try to solve some questions from XI 2.2. The first question is Set A consists of the elements A is equal 1, 2, 3, 4, and set B consists of the elements uh, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. We have to find A intersection B and B intersection A. Are they equal? This is the question. First, uh, let us find uh, A intersection B. A intersection B is equal as shown on the screen. The elements of A can be written first. What are the elements of A? A1, 2, 3, 4. And the operation between A and B is intersection B right intersection. And the elements of B, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, can be written as shown on the screen. Now we have to find A intersection B. A intersection B means the common elements of A and B can be written. Children, you find what are the common elements? 1 is the common element to set A and set B? Yes. It is in both the sets. You write the one element in A intersection B set. And what about 2? Okay, 2 is also common element. This is in both the sets. So you can take 2 also in A intersection B set. And what about 3? 3 is also a common element. It is in set A and set B. So you take 3 also. And here 4 is the common element or not? No. 4 cannot be taken here. Here only 1, 2, 3. These are the common elements. So therefore A intersection B is equal 1, 2, 3 are the elements of this set. This is the first equation. And next we have to find B intersection A. When we find B intersection A, B intersection A is equal what are the elements of B? 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. And the operation between B and A is intersection B, right intersection. And the elements of uh, set A can be written next. What are the elements of set A? 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, B intersection A means uh, the common elements to set B and A can be taken here. What are the common elements? Let us see. Let us see children. 1 is the elements to set B and A. Okay, one can be taken. 2 is the element of set B. Whether 2 is also element of set A? Yes. 2 is the common element in both. So, we take 2 also. 3, the element in set B and set B. So, we take here in B intersection A. 1, 2, 3. Can we take 5 in B intersection A? No. 5 is the element of B, not in set A. So, 5 is not the common element. What about 6? 6 is also a not common element. This 6 only belongs to set B. So, the common elements are 2B and A are 1, 2, 3. So, therefore, B intersection A is equal to 1, 2, 3. This is the second equation. What did you observe from these two equations? Say, children, very good. A intersection B and B intersection are equal because A intersection B consists of the elements 1, 2, 3. B intersection A also consists of the elements 1, 2, 3. From 1 and 2 equations, we conclude that therefore A intersection B is equal B intersection K. This is the way to write the answer. Okay, children. Now, we try to solve the second question. For the second question, children, A is equal 0, 2, 4. These are the three elements of set A. And we have to find A intersection 5 and A intersection A. And comment the answer. A intersection 5, A intersection A. Now, let us try to solve A intersection 5. Children, A intersection 5. First, what are the elements of A? 0, 2, 4. And intersection Five means empty set. Just to be write the curly bracket without writing the elements. This is the symbol of empty set. Now we try to write the A intersection five. A intersection five means the common elements to set A and empty set can be written in A intersection five. Intersection means common elements of the sets can be written here. A intersection five means we have to write the common elements to set A and five. Children, observe 0 is the common element to set A and 5. No, 0 is only set A but not in empty set. 
2 is in set A but not in empty set and also 4 is in set A but not in empty set. So what are the common elements in set A and null set? No, there are no common elements to set A and null set. So the finally we cannot find any elements which are common to set A and phi. So this is the empty set. Again, A intersection phi is equal phi. Okay, now next we find A intersection A. A intersection A is equal, we write the set A which have the element 0, 2, 4 and the intersection and again set A is there. So once again we write the elements of set A 0, 2, 4. Now we find the A intersection A. A intersection A means common elements to set A and set A. What are the common elements here? All the elements of set A are in and this is set A also. The elements in both the sets A are common. So 0, 2, 4 are the elements of set A. We take all the elements are common. So we write 0, 2, 4. These are the common elements. And again we got the set A. A intersection A is equal to A. This is the answer. What we comment? A intersection A is equal to A. And A intersection phi is equal to Fine. Let's take the fourth question from exercise 2.2. If A and B are two sets such that A subset B, what is A union B? Explain with an example. Here, A subset B is the condition. And we have to find A union B. A subset B means A is the subset to B. That means all the elements of A should be in B. B may be the big set. Now we take the example for set A and set B. Set A is the consister of elements 1, 2, 3 other elements of set A. Now we assume set B as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are the elements of set B. When you observe these two sets, all the elements 1, 2, 3 of set A are in B also. So it is clearly A subset B. Now we have to find A union B. Now see set A. A union B is equal, we write the elements of set A, 1, 2, 3, union, we write here, and the elements of set B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, can be written in place of set B. Union means all the elements of A and B are the elements of A union B. All the elements of set A and set B can be taken in A union B. Now, we write 1 from set A, 2 from set A, 3 from set A, all the elements of set A are taken in A union B. And now we have to take all the elements of set B. What are the elements of set B? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Already 1, 2, 3 elements are taken from set A. Now the elements may not be repeated when we write set. So we cannot write 1, 2, 3 again. So we take 4, 5, 6 from set B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are the elements of a union B set. What did you observe? A union B. What did you observe from A union B? When A subset B, A union B is also again the set B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are the elements of set B. If A subset B, A union B is equal to B. This is the final conclusion. If A subset B, A union B is equal to B. We can understand uh, the same by Venn diagram. If A subset B, then what A union B? See children, we try to draw Venn diagram for A subset B as we discussed in the earlier classes. We take a rectangle and the universal set uh, symbol U can be written on the right top corner in the rectangle. Here A is subset to B and all that means all the elements of A are in B. B may be the big set. That means A subset B means set A is in set B. So B is the big set. We write the bigger circle to represent the big uh, set. We write the bigger circle and write the symbol set B on the top of the bigger circle. 
and a is the subset subset means uh, a is the part of set b all the elements of a are in b so a is the smaller circle which is in set b so we draw smaller circle set a f in the set b as shown on the screen and we write uh, the symbol of set a on the smaller circle see the children uh, the venn diagram shown on the screen represent uh, a subset b now let us try to understand we have to write uh, a union b here we have to find a union b here a union b means all the elements of a and b now let us try to say a and b the part belongs to a and b is the a union b. a union b means totally a and b can be shared here let us try to share a and b when we share a and b the total set b is shared that means the elements in the shaded region are the elements of a union b here shaded region is a union b and uh, shaded region is clearly set to b you can observe a union b is nothing but from the figure we understand a union b nothing but b so with this with uh, this venn diagram represents uh, a union b is equal b now we write a union b is equal to shaded square box the shaded square box nothing but b so we write a union b is equal shaded square box that is equal to b if a subset b then a union b is equal b now we understood by venn diagram also